What's up, man? How you doing, bro? Good, how are you? Good, good. What are you getting done today? I want to get a high taper. Okay, a high taper. Yeah. You taking anything off the top at all? And then uh, lacing up the bib. Yeah, yeah. You want to take any length off the bib? You want to get clean it up like the scragglies? Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll clean it up. Keep it wide? Yeah. Okay, yep. cool. And then your mustache, how you like your, your mustache? You like it full? You like it lower and skinnier? Or, or you like it kind of natural? Yeah, I want you to cut it down some. Cut it down some? Yeah, yeah. But the, the width, width wise, a little bit more natural? Yeah. Okay, yep. cool. All right, YouTube, so we gonna start with removing the bulk at the temple areas with a number three. And you can see I'm creating the shape that I wanna see. I'm contouring the haircut um, cause I want it to kind of blend into the curls on top as opposed to kind of being disconnected. So it's important to make that shape in the strokes that you're, that you're making with the clippers. And notice that I'm doing this behind the ear as well as in the neckline in the neck area and we're doing the same thing going into the beard because he's got a full beard so this is just going to be a nice base for me to blend into a number three so i'm going to start off with taking off the c cup because we're going to do a high taper and i think the high taper is going to look going to look perfectly fine it'll probably make his hairline look fuller because you don't have you know a c cup running down from the vertical bar all right so next step is uh the blade open after we bald him out and then we're gonna go ahead and start blending it out you can start blending down by closing the clipper little by little or you could blend up by going clipper close and opening the blade little by little until you're all the way open once that part is blended move on to the next step which is the one and a half guard closed and you want to constantly be combing the hair guys constantly be combing the hair and here what i'm doing is i'm taking some of the curls that are overlapping the hairline and i was just kind of tapering it off now to take out this line we're going to go with the half guard all the way open using the corners and then closing it little by little until that line is gone you can see by this point it's it's about a quarter of the way open and now it's all the way closed and again you can see i'm just using my corners and if it doesn't come out all the way there's a faint line there just take the guard off and close and uh just use the blade open and close that little by little until that line is gone so i did i, I didn't like the transition 100 percent. so i grabbed the one guard closed and i used the corners of that and again this is my first time cutting his hair almost everyone you see on my channel that i'm cutting it's my first time cutting their hair so especially the first portion of the fades or the tapers a lot of it is i'm kind of feeling the hair out i'm seeing how it reacts to to certain techniques to certain guard lengths and i'm just making sure that i'm treading water in the beginning because i don't want to make a mistake that i can't fix later on so if i could figure this out figure his hair out and um kind of the steps that are working best with the taper um i'll be able to taper all the other you know portions of his haircut much much easier much more efficiently all right so here i'm doing the number three with the grain just to kind of um debulk it a little bit and then we'll go against the grain again shaping the cut with the clippers and once we get everything down to a solid three then we know we're just going to do a blend a taper into a three so i can do whatever my system is to blend into that three and you can see what what i did here was um I started debulking it down with the one and a half guard. So now I'm actually just blending to a one and a half guard. So I'm going trimmer and then clipper all the way open. Then we'll start to blend this area out. And guys, just just for a, for a tip um, for for my clients, whenever there's a neck taper going on look down look down it, it will help so much 
Because, like, right now, you could tell he's, like, leaning back a little bit, leaning his head to the, to the side just a little bit. And that's creating shadows. And it's also make making the neck, the skin in the neck area um, much looser. So it's harder to get a nice blend in. And for me, I don't typically try to force people to look down because... It may be for discomfort discomfort issues. And so if it's not terrible, I'll still do the taper. If I can't get a nice taper in, then I'll ask the client to look down for me. Damn it, Tito. But we got a, we got a decently nice taper in. And now we'll start to do the side taper. And we're just gonna do the same steps that we've been doing. Trimmer, trimmer, then clipper open. Now start to take out that bottom line with the clipper closed. Open it little by little as needed to, to blend it out. And that was me just trying to remove like a, a, a line that was a little harder to remove with the trimmer. Next step, that one and a half guard closed. really want to make sure that we're blending out that C cup area guys next step but but below the one and a half guard like just like we did on the other side is that half guard half guard is closed might need to take the guard off and just use the blade open in case there's a faint line there still I don't think I did this step on the other side Maybe, maybe his curls were being a little stubborn and it didn't blend right in, but I don't think I used the number two on the other side. So we used the number two and then we started to blend down with that one and a half and then that one guard. And then once that's blended, we can start blending that beard in. Yeah, this, this side of his taper was definitely a tad bit harder. And I think this is why, because on the other side, and I'm just noticing this now that I'm watching game tape. On the other side, I was more consistent with that number three. We walked it to the, you know, from the temple area to the back of the ear to the neck area. I didn't do that on this side. So that makes a lot of sense. Gotta be consistent, guys. All right, so we're gonna taper off the hairline. Just set it up for a nice for a nice lineup, and start to get all these little scragglies. I don't even know if that's a word, but it sounds right. Um, get all these little scragglies off the beard, and now we start lining them up. We want it to be as natural as possible while balancing natural with actually getting a crispy line. Some of y'all be too natural and don't get a crispy line because you're too natural. And it's like in this, these nape areas, it's not gonna grow, the neck area is not gonna grow back ugly if you try to get a line and push it back a little bit. Because it's so short, when it starts to grow back, it's 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 gonna look like it's growing back together because the that taper area you're lining up is so short. Now on the hairline, that's a different story. Like, see all that hair I was just trimming? Some of y'all would have tried to line that up and it just, it doesn't flow with the cut. Definitely don't push it up um, behind the ear because that's one of those parts that would grow back really ugly because the length of the hair is longer. Same thing with the back of the beard. Don't push it back. Don't push it up too much. Mostly what I'm trimming right there is overlapping hair from his actual beard line.
All right, so now we're gonna enhance the cut using that 245 no drip with the Beam Team compressor and the 245 clutch card made by Sean Cuts Hair. Shout out to Sean Cuts Hair. Make sure you go follow him. Make sure you follow Beam on YouTube as well. And we're just gonna go ahead and enhance the cut, man. And so I'm gonna put some hairspray and we're gonna we're gonna double up with the fibers. Line it up once the fibers are applied. Tito, let's get it. Yeah, the headline's starting to look crazy. All right, so now that the haircut is pretty much finished, we can start focusing on that beard line. So you guys can see that I, I trimmed the mustache area down. We still wanted it to be um, dark, but we wanted it to be groomed. We're gonna make sure that the outline um, is done, but we're gonna try to keep it as um, wide as possible. To me, it just matches that wide, full beard uh, much better than a skinny mustache or no mustache. Some of y'all be rocking. Some of y'all Dominicans, Puerto Rican dudes be rocking a no mustache. I don't, know, I don't like that look for everybody. Some people pull it off, but I don't like that look for everybody. Most of the time, keeping the mustache looks better. And again, we're trying to keep it as full as possible. So the line is, is a bit higher there, but I think that that, I think that if he let it grow, for two, three months, he could get that beard line really nice and full, where I have it lined right now. But you gotta, have, you gotta be patient enough to, to, to see, to not trim that down too low. definitely had a bunch of follicles there again it's just a matter of letting it grow it might take longer to grow that area but if you let it grow for two three two months you're gonna see a nice full beard line So we're doing some finishing touches with the lineup. We're doing some finishing touches with the detailing with the clippers. Using the these are the Babyliss Low Pros. And guys, this is the before. Now let's check out the after. <laughs> 